good day once again my name is graphics now we'll be taking another example on limit on infinity of infinity now look at this question it said the lim the limit of x tends to eight infinity is the limit s tends to infinity 2x plus 1 into bracket multiplied by 3x minus 2 in bracket multiplied by x minus 3 in bracket everything all over this equation here right now what you do here is this there are many approach you can do with this you can decide to multiply this entire value to make them look like a trinomial just like this is or you can decide to solve it this way but for me I will choose to take them in this direction there's something you need to understand I will deviate a little bit is that if I have a times b times c they are all all over d it means that what it can be written as a over d times b times c or a times b over d times c or a times b times c over d you can write this in this fashion this fa this fashion here right but what you need to understand is that if you have a plus b plus c over d, the only way you can write this is that since they have a common denominator and they are adding each other, it will be a over d plus b over d plus c over d. You cannot do it this way because each man here, each man here is for himself. But here they are working hand in hand. That is why when you multiply, when you want to multiply your effort, you increase your manpower, right? In here now you see they are all multiplying each other, so they are like what? They are one entity. But this one now, they are different entity here. Is that taken now? So I can write this in this in all this way, or I can write this like this. It is impossible for me to not say a over d plus b over plus b plus c. It is no, you can't do it that way. Is that taken now? So let's come here back. Now, since I have 2x plus 1 multiplied by this, multiplied by this, and I'm having the highest power of x here to be s cubed. Now, the rule is that when you are solving equations that have infinity, you divide through by the uh, x that has the highest power. And the x that have the highest power here is what? s cubed. So let us divide through by s cubed. So I'll be having um, 2x plus 1 into bracket. 3x minus 2 into bracket x minus 3 L divided by what? S cube, right? All over 3S cube over what? Plus 4x square minus 2 all over what? S cube. So I'm dividing everything by what? The power of x. Now, thus will not come apply this that we did here just now. So, I'll be having my lim x tends to what? Infinity. We have a uh, 2x plus 1. Now, this x means the x divided into 3. Is that the key now? So, I'll be having x over x multiplied by 3x minus 2 over x into bracket x minus 3 over x because they are all one entity so it's like saying s times s times s will give me my x cube right so all all over 3 s cube over s cube plus 4 x square over s cube minus 2 over s cube so it's impossible for me to not start dividing the s because what every man for himself like i said earlier right so what i will do here is this the same thing is applicable here too. I'm having my limb. X tends to what? Infinity. So I'll be having 2x over x plus 1 over x. That is 1. Every man for himself. Into bracket. 3x over x minus 2 over x. That is another one. Bracket. X over x plus, minus what? 3 over x times another one here. All, all over. Now, I can easily say 
S cube will cancel out S cube. I'll be left with what? 3. Plus, if you remove S square from S cube, you'll be left with only X here. We have 4 all over what? X, right? Minus 2 over S cube. Now, if I'm to rewrite this again, I'll be having lim X tends to what? Infinity into bracket x will cancel out x i'll be left with 2 plus 1 over x into bracket 3 minus 2 over s because s will equate this into bracket 1 minus 3 over s s over x is what is 1 all all over 3 plus 4 over x minus 2 over what s cube now you put your infinity sign repeating it i'll be left with 2 plus 1 over infinity close the bracket bracket 3 minus 2 over infinity bracket 1 minus 3 over infinity all all over 3 plus 4 over infinity minus 2 over a infinity what cube so i told you any finite number over infinity is zero so this will give me 2 plus 0 into bracket 3 minus 0 bracket 1 minus 0 all over 3 plus 0 minus 0 and this will give me 2 into bracket 3 into bracket 1 because 2 plus 0 is 2 3 minus 0 is 3 1 minus 0 is 1 all over 3 so my answer will now give me 6 over 3 because 2 times 3 times 1 over 3 is 6 so this will now give me 2 to be my answer thank you very much my name is graphics once again we'll meet in our next video